Okay. Well, may y'all stand for the pledge, please. I pledge, I pledge allegiance to, to the flag, flag, to the flag of the United, of the States, United America, States of America, of America and, to the, and to the republic, to the republic for, which for which it stands, it stands one, nation, one, nation, one nation, under God, under God indivisible, indivisible, with liberty, with liberty and, justice and, justice and justice for all. All right. Madam I'm Clerk. Said amen. No, Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Linda Cook. Kathy Alderson. Here. Nikki Bender. Here. Joy Sellers. Yep. Patrick Sellers. Here. We have a quorum. We have a quorum. Okay. The first order of business is approval of minutes for the April 6, 2020 meeting. And a motion and a second, please. So moved. So moved. We already had a so moved. We need a second. Okay. Mm. All righty. All can see and then cook. Mm-hmm. All right. righty. Please, please take a look at the minutes, please. If you haven't done so already. Any questions on the minutes? No, oh, I don't have. All righty. All righty. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. The next order of minutes is the approval of bills payable. And a motion and a second, please. So moved. Mm-hmm. Second. Second. Yep. Second. Alton Please take a look at bills payable. Notice the water bills have really slowed up. Yes, um, it's because we have uh, temporarily suspended the water program during the um, uh, shelter in place um, order. Oh, okay. I'm okay with them. What? The <clears throat> so I'll just wait. So I was going to say, I know you said you suspended them. Yes. Uh, so what is the um, plan if we go back and you got all these people with the uh, water bills and they got stimulus checks? How are we going to handle that? I'm going to address that. Okay. I will address that. Oh, that's on part of your part mm -hmm. of your mm -hmm. tonight. Yes. Oh, okay. 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 Yep. Yes, sir. All right. Any questions or claims or demands? No. Madam, no. Madam Clerk, please call the roll. No. Aldersey. Aye. Bender. Aye. Cook. Yes. Sellers. Aye. Sellers. Aye. Motion passes. Motion passes. All righty. The next order of business is the uh, public hearing for Ordinance 2020 TO-02, Budget and Appropriation Ordinance for Fiscal Year 2020-2021. We don't... Your choice. You can either just declare the public meeting open, hearing open, or you can ask for a motion to open and a mo motion to close. Your choice. Uh, last time you were just open. We just okay. opened. Okay. Well, time. I will now declare the the public uh, hearing open. And we're waiting. What two minutes? Some more. Is that what you want? No. 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 No, we're fine. Did you receive any public comments? No. Uh, by email, snail mail, text message, any written form whatsoever? No. By the mail. Okay. There is there are no public comments. There's no members of the public here. Okay. So, so unless the trustees have some comments, it's, it's closed the meeting. Now are we going to point of order last time we waited a minute so the Facebook people could respond? Yes. Oh, okay. That's we correct. can do that, yes. We can do that. We have somebody monitoring the Facebook? Yes, Patrick was. Well, Patrick can't. I think I did last yeah, Patrick time. Patrick can't monitor yeah. it. And, and I'll do it. And, and yeah, you, you did it the last time. I have 435. Okay. Yeah, you did it the last time. 
It's on Freeport Township Live, correct? Yes, sir. Mr. Chair. Remind Freeport Township Live. Okay, it's been a and Well, I just got on. Okay. okay. It's still loading. Oh, yeah. okay. We have the live video feed on this page. Mm -hmm. I do not see any. It's probably, it's probably taking a little while to, to load on my, but it's, it's, it should be. I was going to check on Pulse if that was it. Maybe it's right here. Yeah, I know. That's it. He's just saying there wasn't any comments. Okay. Um, there is one comment um, from Miss Luann Ludwig. Okay. Who says, I was about to comment and say I can hear and see yes, but boom disappeared. Okay. That was, that's the only comment on this page so far. Mm -hmm. oh. does what does it say? Um, that can some you repeat that, Mike? It says, quote, I was about to comment and say, I can hear and see yes, Y-A-S, I assume that meant you, mm -hmm. but boom, B-O-O-M, disappeared. Oh, wow. Like maybe okay. The maybe the feed yeah, cut or... Maybe she got disconnected. It's possible. Right. Are there any more comments? And as of right now, sir, there are no more comments on here. Okay. We started at 435 and it's now 438. Okay, so can I? I <coughs> excuse me, can I speak now? Sure. Oh, okay, uh, as long as you're talking about the uh, video productions, um, I think it's something we might have to address. Um, We've had it over the past few years, and I think we've shown people um, that the township is transparent. And I guess I have a real problem when I see what we pay them and what we pay our attorney. I don't understand why we would pay for a video more than we would pay for an attorney who's guiding us in the right way. Uh, I think I think it's probably time that we really don't need them anymore. I think the public uh, trusts, you know, what we're doing and that we are doing a good job. Just my input. I, I can't, I can't hear what Hold on a second. Saying. Hold on a second. I'm, I'm going to, I'm, 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 I'm going to uh, re 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 reiterate her comment to you. You said that, isn't it, aren't we legally required to have these meetings videoed and posted? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, not that I'm aware. Not that I'm aware. But now, during this, during this time now, COVID crisis, during the COVID crisis. As long as the gubernatorial disaster proclamation remains in effect, this is the only way we can allow the public to observe your meetings. Right. Because we have a restriction. On no more than ten people present, and right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have eight people present. Right. If members of the public wanted to come in, they could not because of the ten limit. Right. So, um, uh, and, and ten would, in, if we had both of our trustees here, that would give us ten right, right there. Right. That would give so us. So for this period of time, limit. we are uh, especially videoing it to comply with the governor's. Uh, executive Order 220-010, as extended by 018. Mm -hmm. Did that make myself clear or did I confuse yeah. you? Yep. So, in normal times, we would not... Lots of boards don't... So, um, yeah. For instance, Village Board of Cedarville, they never uh, record <laughs> or broadcast their meetings. I don't know any other townships that do either. I know where Harlem does not. 
in Manchester does not. I would bet there might be some like in uh, Rockford, in one of the other counties they may. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And again, uh, not by their not by their own actions, but <coughs> Hecatonica Townships board meetings are broadcast by citizens. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Trustee Sellers, you had a comment. Yeah, I was going to say I know that um, when we came into this position, mm -hmm. and um, I think that was the main issue that Pat ran on and we supported them running on that mm -hmm. of showing no transparency mm -hmm. so that's what i think that was the main reason why we we even started to let them see how we were going to um work with their money and make sure that their money was used wisely mm -hmm. and you know i do i mean i'm i'm pro and con because i do uh, agree with uh nikki with i do think we have shown the public um our transparency and and that we are uh, good stewards of their money mm -hmm. but um, I also say you know I know we have to keep it now maybe is it something that we can go back look into and see if there's um, you know well we might get some voices or people saying you know I, I was watching it um, every now and then on um, I was watching it going you know downloading the uh, Sight and watching it, but if they're if we're not, then maybe we can cut back. But I do think that it's something that we should look to see what our numbers are before we just you know let it go. Let's see what is there people out there watching it, and if there's not, then it is something we can say, hey, we've done our job. But if there is, hey, we're still doing our job, but people want to see it. Okay, keep this in mind too, trustees. Now is not the time to abandon transparency. That's something that we should not do. I don't think we should do that um, because, I don't think we are. because, hold on a second, let, let me finish. Uh -huh. Because because we uh -huh. have had videos, we, we've had over 8,000 views on, on, on our videos and, 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 they're on our, and they're on YouTube. So people are watching these videos. There's people watching them right now. I mean, there's people watching it now, so I don't think we should be so quick to abandon trans transparency. That's that's my thought. That's no, that's what I think. I don't think, think. anyone said to abandon transparency because they can come into the office at any time. No, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. I, no, 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 no. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I, I, I'm, uh, what I'm saying is this: there are people who cannot come to our meetings. They're not physically able to come to our right. meetings, so they can watch our okay. meetings on video. So what about mm -hmm. those individuals? Are they not, do, do, do they not count, and do, 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 uh, sh should they not be able to see our, 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 our videos and see action that we're taking a a as a township board? What I'm saying, are you getting any comments back from these people that are coming to the meetings? Uh, you know, that's what I'm saying. I, I, I never want, or I don't think, I think Nikki was saying maybe we have shown them our transparency and we've shown them that we're good stewards. And they trust us with the finances that we have have overseen. But I do also think that, you know, hey, I've never heard anyone say, oh, yeah, I watched the video last, I mean, or comment, or I've never even heard anybody talk about the number of people mm -hmm. that watch the video. So that's why I was giving my point of view mm -hmm. of saying maybe not get rid of it. Maybe it's something we can look into and see what our numbers are, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. not just, you know, just see what the, the numbers are of viewers that have watched it and, and go from there. So that's what we were saying. We never say, oh, don't do transparency. We're just saying maybe take another angle at it and just see. Okay. So what are you saying? So, what so what's the board's suggestion? Board members, what are your suggestions? I mean, we got to have it now. So I'm saying it's something we can look later. Not now. We got to have it. Yeah, I agree with that also. But you know, for years... Um, it's just, uh, but I still think there's a problem with, with the pay schedule. That we would pay for video okay. productions for a half hour. Um, and we're paying them more than we're paying our attorney. I mean, who's very important to us. That okay. we can't go without. Okay, right, okay. And I'm just thinking, 
trying to save some money uh, because things sure don't look any better. And just listening to um, the Rockford uh, uh, guy, what's his name? <laughs> Can't think of his name. Anyhow, Matt. Mackleman. Yeah, uh, just listening to him. Things do not look good for this area. Not good at all. So okay. it, this isn't something that's going to last for two more weeks when it's over. And I think they were pretty sure about that. And so was, was their uh, doctors down there. So okay. I think, you know, the, the main thing is trying to save money and what it's going to cost us after this is all over with. We're going to be flooded with people, especially if they haven't gone back to work. Okay. If they keep giving us two thousand dollars a month for six months, we ain't. <laughs> yeah. Don't hold your breath. Right. Okay. Okay. So um. So now, the 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 question I I I, I must ask the board. What do you guys want for my next step? What's my next step with this? I mean, we can't do anything right now, Pat. That's just something we gotta we gotta maybe bring it back up for discussion later because we need them now. So it's really, I mean, and maybe as time goes on, and maybe when we go back, I'm just gonna say in July. Okay. And we bring it back up because things have calmed down. You're able to get people in. You know. I'm just saying, if that happens, yeah, hey, we're we're able to get five people to come sit in on a meeting, mm -hmm. and uh, we don't know yet. So we, it's something I say that we ought to just okay. table it and come back to it a little later because there's nothing we can do now because we do need it. Okay. I don't think we can table it, can we? Or the question is, what are you could, saying? Could we that's sign just a six-month contract? Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. They, there's a contract ready to be signed if it hasn't been signed, right? No, there is no. There's no contract? No. Okay. Mm -mm. okay. Mm -mm. But we're going into summer, right? Hmm? No, what what we do is we they 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 submit their they submit their proposal and we we signed a contract. We had a contract in what? The first time back in like the first 2014 time. or two, so. Yeah, we had a contract, so. I think we should sign maybe a contract for six months okay. and see what's happening then. So wouldn't that mess with the fiscal year at all? It shouldn't no, have any effect on the fiscal year. Right, right. Yeah, well, we had previously discussed opening, having it rebid, because it did cost money to open it. Right. So we thought it was a good idea to have the videos of mm -hmm. it, even if people aren't talking to you about it specifically. I've had people coming to me. I, 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 I can't hear really I can't hear it. So tight, guys. And so, yeah, but just maybe open, like have it rebid uh, or discuss other videoing options. If I'm not mistaken, for the city council, the someone on city council reported it. Okay. Uh, or at least when I brought this up, when I my first year on township, I said this is an insane rate, and mentioned it. I understand that it might not be an insane rate in the context of like a larger scale, like video production. Like I do know that video production, if you're having say a music video made or something that involves like lots of you know lighting and sets and whatever <coughs> uh, movement. Uh, but this is a still meeting, um, pretty like simple it's scenario. Okay. Again, it when I, I've mentioned this to a friend of mine who does video production, and when he, I said that, he said, yes, that makes sense for like, say I was producing a music video for five minutes and that would require him doing a lot of editing. This is not cutting and pasting and putting things together like the way when you think of editing in a movie or something like that, it's like a, if it was heavily edited, it wouldn't be true to the meeting. Right. Okay. So, so what you are saying in a nutshell, <laughs> Trustee Cook, is that you would like for this to go out for a request for proposal. Or, or 
consult on what the city council does. Or consult with the city council on what on how they do theirs. Okay. Okay. That's a good idea. Okay. Okay. I would do I that. would go with that. Okay. do not want to stand for like devaluing the rate of any artist, but as an also working artist, that rate feels very high. Okay. Okay. Any more comments on the public hearing on the post appropriation order? Any more comments on the public hearing? Or uh, what do you call it, Mike? The proposed appro proposed budget appropriation. Yeah, on the proposed budget appropriation ordinance. Any more comments or 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 about about this while we have the public hearing open? No. Um, yes. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I'd like to talk about the uh, pay raises. You mean um, the cost of living increases? Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, Really, at this time, I, I can't approve a pay raise for our employees, even though they really deserve it. But we've got people, you know, losing their jobs, uh, being cut hours, uh, being down to two or three days a week. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I just don't think we really can afford it. And um, as far as the letter that you sent us, um, you said they're not receiving any hazard pay. Well, who in Freeport is getting hazard pay? Are our nurses and doctors getting hazard pay? As of right now, I don't. I've I called don't a couple. Know. I've called my doctors, and they're not. So I don't think that's anything you know to talk about. And as far as the prices of food and essentials being increases and insurances, all the people who are unemployed are going through the same thing. And they don't have a check to go and get food every week. Okay. You know, this is this. There's things you have to give up in an emergency. Um, having worked for uh, Salvation Army for 13 years, there were I think at least two two years out of that that I didn't get a raise because we were short of money for wages because we needed it to help the people. And that's the most important part of the job. Mm -hmm. And what you're doing at, at uh, Township is basically the same that we did at Salvation Army. The main job is to help the people. Mm -hmm. So I, I think our people are well paid. I think that um, they could wait another year or maybe not that if things start to go better. I don't see the outlook being, <laughs> being good for us. I just think that when this ever does shut down, we're going to be bombarded with people, and especially if they haven't gone back to work. And we're talking about people who make ten, eleven dollars an hour. You know, I mean, they barely make it anyhow. And when you see the food truck uh, out at uh, the fire station last week, they had. The paper reported 160, I think. Well, a girl that I know called me, and she was 161 car, and there were 20-some cars behind her. Wow. So now if it's that bad this early, what's it going to be? Right. <laughs> early? We going, we starting to go down, you know, now. You have a comment? If you live uh, in the uh, Cuomo. Uh, yeah. Trusty. <laughs> I do. But, um, hey, Joy, hold on, hold on. Joy, hold on one second. Joy, hold on one second. Uh, Trustee Alton, she has, has a comment. Go ahead. I truly believe Speak up a little louder, okay? I truly believe that once all this settles down and we are bombarded, our employees are going to work twice as hard. Back in the day, I know what it was like. <laughs> and did they deserve a raise? They're getting less than what I got when I was employed here 10 years ago. And they still have kids in college, car payments, insurance, just like everybody else does. And it's very unfortunate that this has to happen. But um, you can't, you make a decision 
when the budget comes around. Right. You don't table it and decide, well, if it gets really, really busy, are we going to have to hire somebody a couple of days a week to fill that in? I've seen that happen. Right. Okay. So, yes and no. Okay. Okay. Did you guys catch that? No. Okay. Um, what what Trustee Aldensee said, in a nutshell, was that um, we yes we, we we could possibly be bombarded at the end of this, and our employees will be working twice as hard. And so um, we're we're looking at things right 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 now, and and you you're talking about um, the the cost of living in increases, and she was talking about after the COVID-19 uh, uh, sanctions and or, or things have been lifted, how much harder our employees are going to have to work in order to keep up with the demand that that that, that, that could potentially be at our at, at, Well, that's going to be doors, everybody. So. That's going to be everybody. Okay. You can't just single them out. But I'm just... And, and, and I, don't have a, I don't have a problem with somebody getting a pay raise. Okay. But I think right now, and I think the... Uh, when you said bombarded and working harder, we only got to, how many people on township? Right now we got, uh, I think, 23. Okay, that that's not really, you know, I mean, that's not really uh, a lot. close to being bombarded. I don't think. I mean, but but hold on, hold on, them. hold on. You guys just said once what this COVID, once this thing is lifted, we're going to be bombarded with people. Right. Oh, I've never said that. I never said it. They said it. <laughs> I, I never said said it. Know we're gonna be. We don't know what we're gonna be. We had they had predicted we were gonna be bombarded after the flood and all of that. We what? I mean, so nobody knows what we're going to be. I mean, they're predicting. Right. It's gonna be. But right. We don't know what it's going to be. Right. You know. Right. I mean, it it, it sounds off, but we don't know what it's going to be. So. We can't we can't pre predict a doubling or what we don't know because a lot of people if you got kids and stuff you can't get on township anyway mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know so and then are you still going to keep the guidelines in place on a township to be able to receive township are you still going to have to go out and look for work or do certain things in the community to, to earn the money our, or are you gonna just our entire with, our yeah. entire programs are, are going to have to be adjusted after this and I'm working on that. So, the, so they're not going to have to work back. and do all those I, I, I didn't say that, Joy. I said we're making an adjustment oh, to it. Oh. oh, okay. That's all I was asking. That, okay. I'm just saying I don't, I, I don't think we should say we're going to have all of this and we don't know. Because okay. we don't know. So it's the same thing with That's the water program. Don't we don't know that one either. So we don't know if we're going to get by body with the water program either. So I... I uh Uh-huh. Uh <laughs> if people have gotten uh, COVID or else, like that, that has nothing to do with their water bills. Like, like we, some people, you still have a job and you magically got that check. That's really great. But a lot of people think that twelve hundred dollars is like an entire month income at least or more, and they need to be able to pay rent because landlords are not. Going, right. Like, despite what you hear on the news, landlords are still making everyone pay their full rent. Mm hmm in town yes. and everywhere and you know people if you work if your job is gone unemployment only pays half and mm -hmm. some people a lot of people don't have access to unemployment oh you're gonna ask for six hundred dollars a month uh six hundred dollars every right. time you get your your unemployment so, right. six, so unemployment is giving their people a little bit of money yeah but only <laughs> you're getting six hundred dollars extra yeah, but like I'm primarily an, uh, yeah. like an independent contractor with the majority of my income that I lost, which is not very easy. You can't currently apply for unemployment for that. A lot of people have lost those jobs, and you can't get unemployment. And a lot of people who are truly low-income individuals do not have access to a computer. Historically, people use the library for but their computing closed. needs when you need to use a desktop and the unemployment website does not work mobily and you cannot get through to a person on the phone. Cell phone. <laughs> My niece, so, like, she used her cell phone. Some people are getting she her her and that's a big deal, but some people, even if they qualify, they can't get it because they simply don't have access to mm -hmm. machines necessary to do it. 
and then the repeated access to then mm -hmm. do all the things that you should. Okay. I mean, yes, Trustee Alton I said this before that we on this board have three Trusty. generations. A little louder. We have three generations on our township board. We have all raised children, worked hard, seen hard times, and it all changes. This isn't going to change for the better. People are, are struggling now and getting their water turned off. Wow. And their utilities turned off. If you've ever struggled, enjoy. You and I know how that is. You don't have to use my name. You don't have to use my name about struggling. You don't have to do that. I'm saying and that's that we where are you don't have to throw our out children. No name. Just use your name. <laughs> don't use my name. Well, didn't you struggle when you were raising your child? No. <laughs> well, in past meetings, you said that you understood what people were going through. And you shouldn't be too proud to say that. But I think oh. that <coughs> generations of township board members, we've seen most of it. Nikki's seen the biggest part of it. What's wrong with that, Joy? I know. If we Nothing. were here, we'd be saying names. Hey. No, I wouldn't. Trustees. Let's stay on topic. Let's stay on topic. Let's stay on topic, okay? Let's stay on topic, guys. Let's stay on topic. Thank you. Thank you. Let's stay on topic here. Okay, okay. Um What what we done went all over to I don't even know what you're talking about, Right. We've gone all over the place. Um we were talking about cost of living increases. That's that that was the that was the root. I don't have a problem with it. That's the root. Trusty Trusty Cook. I mean, you know, while some parts of our economy are falling apart, other parts are completely untouched. Our budget has not changed. It doesn't. It's not currently affected. So why would that affect, you know, like our like them getting raises? Because other people working in unaffected industries are not like getting a hold on their, you know, like right. I understand. Development right now, it's not like they're going to cut your salary just because everyone else in the country is getting their salary cut. Right. Solidarity. What's the rest of the people in Freeport doing? Do you have any idea? Um, no. The other agencies? No, no. Um, I'm sure to check. I think we should have checked with them before we stuck our neck out. Yes, uh, Assessor Ridgeway. Our neck. Can't to speak up. Nobody's going to be able to hear you. I think the county, but they they already passed their budget earlier in the year. Got a two percent. Gave their staff two percent. The and county the county's fiscal year is from December one through November thirtieth. Okay. So they would have taken action in late November. Okay. Okay. Yes. Thank you. What's the city doing? I don't know. As the city normally doesn't do their budget until uh, by J uh, July 31st is right. usually their deadline. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure if they passed it or not yet. Yes. Am I remembering correct, incorrectly that um, they changed to the calendar year for their fiscal budget this last year? Yes, they did. The city changed. Did? To the yes, yeah. they changed to the calendar year. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. The only municipality in Illinois that I know that has that thing. <laughs> okay. Because <coughs> I can't see why or how a teachers union would agree right now, but like just because of this, like that, that would affect their already established. <laughs> What she say? She she's she's talking about the 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 school board, and mm -hmm. and she said she don't under, she don't think the, the that the teachers union would would would, would go for them not getting any. Her budget wouldn't be negatively right. affected. The they had to, they probably had gains by not having kids in the school. They don't have to. Right. But 
Why aren't they paying the teachers? Because of contracts? Well, we're teachers. talking about two yeah. different yeah. things. That's why I'm asking. Yeah. And, and they still are required. They are still working. Like, it's uh, yeah. different. Yeah, because right. they're doing it a different way. Yeah. Plus, teachers probably all have big degrees and such also. So, we're, we're talking apples and oranges. But anyhow, that's all I've got to say about it, and um, I, I will not vote uh, for a raise, and I would vote for all the rest of the budget but that. Okay. Trustee Sellers, you have any, you have any more comments? It don't matter to me. Okay. It don't matter to me. Okay. Any more comments? If not, I will look to close public hearing. Um, do I need, I don't need a vote or anything, do I? No, you don't. Okay. Uh, let me ask Mike something. Yes, ma'am. Um, how can I vote on the rest of the budget and just exclude the raises? Well, the, the best, the simplest way to do it would be to make a motion to amend the proposed ordinance to delete the, uh, the proposed uh, uh, cost of living increases. If that, fa if that passes, they, and then you vote I on the amended budget. If that fails, then you decide whether you're going to vote I or A on the amended budget. On the original budget. Okay. I'm sorry. So the, the, the way to do that is you have to make a motion to amend the proposed budget ordinance uh, to delete the uh, cost of living increases that are in there for the employees of the town. Okay, without going through that, I would have to just vote no on everything. That's right. Well, that's your decision. Uh, yes. Well, that's the only other way I can vote. Correct. Right, because you don't. Is is it you want to vote? You want to vote no because you don't think they deserve a raise, or you want to right. vote? I'm not saying they don't deserve a raise. I'm saying it is not the time to have a raise. So I'm saying, do you think that you can also make something? maybe say something I mean is it uh, possible you could say something that says maybe not at this time can we come back to this conversation or you know not to I mean because I do believe if I've worked all year I deserve a raise and maybe not now is the time for it because of the pandemic but can we go back in three months and you know look at how things are because Really, we don't even know what, what we might be getting in as a township in months. You know, is that something? Or, yeah. or is that a question? We might not be, even be getting as much money as we think from the, the city when it comes time for... Okay. Yeah. Is that is that possible or is that anything or no? So explain to me one more time what you guys what 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 I'm what. saying I I asked Nikki not if if her concern was that they don't they don't need a a, a, a raise at all or is it something that she could um, have a, a a thought for saying can we look at this right now is not the time can she make a a, a motion to say not now is the time to give the raise? Is it something that we can come back in three months and say, that's, hey. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying they don't deserve a raise. I'm saying I don't think it's the right time. I just think we don't know what the future is going to bring, and I just don't think it's... You don't see other people in Freeport getting a raise. All you do is see people off, you know, aren't even working in restaurants. You know, don't even have a hundred dollars a week coming in. So I'm sorry, I can't. I can't. No, I, I just can't do it. Um, with they're they're being well paid right now. They have good jobs, and they do a good job at it. But I'm just saying, I don't think they need it right now. Okay. Can I ask something? Yes. So I'm trying Clark, to take the notes here. Um, is what. What I think Joy is saying is can we, can the board address the issue of COLA at a later time? Oh, can you, uh, uh, Thank you, uh, Barb. Yeah. yeah. 
The qu sure. The answer to that simple question is yes. Um, question is, do you, uh, do you leave it in and then say we're going to make a motion that the raises are going to be effective? Uh, what's three months from now? Um, August, August 1. Um, unless uh, unless we take further action. That seems that seems reasonable to me. Right. I just I just want us all to be on one accord on the races, and I don't want them to feel that somebody doesn't think they deserve a raise. Right. Because the they do. Raised, right? yes, but, it is. Yes. you know, it's a baby, like he's saying, not now, it's but crazy. you are going to get a raise, but it's not right now. I don't know. Well, was the, have you officially closed no. the public hearing no. yet? No, no. Once you close the public hearing, then the appropriate budget and appropriation ones will be on the floor, at which time they can make a subsidiary motion, like to amend it, so that okay. the pay raises kick in on August 1st. Okay. 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 Something you want to add? Yeah, uh, get it down first. I have a question. Try to speak up so I people have can hear. For Mike. So, just from prior experience mm -hmm. and, and county and all this with elected officials, if the money's in their budget, the elected officials can then decide when. At that point, I mean, does it become an elected official decision? No, it becomes an internal control. Mm -hmm. There are statutes okay. under, that apply only to county government. Doesn't apply to cities, doesn't apply to townships. Mm -hmm. okay. There are seven county officials that have, quote, internal control of the operations of that office, which means they only get a three line budget. If they could have, say, give me money for salaries, equipment, and I can't think what the third thing is, okay. and they could spend it whatever way they want. That has no applicability to uh, to, uh, to township because it, they exist only for county because of that one of those statutes and one court decision as for the circuit clerk's office. Okay, so I'm going to now officially close the public hearing. And All right. Uh, and what time yeah. we have, Bob? At five thirteen. We're now officially closing the public hearing. All right. Now, what I'm, uh -huh. going, what I'm going to do now is this. The next order of business, right, it, right, is the approval of the Ordinance 2020-002 Budget and Appropriation Ordinance for Fiscal Year 2020 through 2021. We've had our motion in second. Now it's open for discussion, discussion or, or amendment or, or, amendment subsidiary, or motion. subsidiary motion. It's on the floor. We call on the floor. It's officially on the floor. Okay. So now, if somebody wants to make a motion that the cost of living increases are to, are, are to begin to amend the appropriation ordinance so that the colas begin on August 1st, 2nd, and then a discussion on that if you want to do that. Okay. In that scenario, yes, ma'am. The numbers stay the same completely. Right. It would just be like having a, like a fatter right. raise at the second half of the year. Right. We, we'd have to reapportion it beginning of whatever the uh, date is. Because we know the amount that they're going to get. Mm -hmm. So it would be retroactive. We would talk with the CFO and how she wants to handle that. Okay. She's the expert on that. About what's the best way to do that? <laughs> wow. But then there's no motion right now. Any discussion? Any discussion? Mickey? Wow, you want to make a motion? So moved. No, that's what, that's what, um, what um, Mike is saying. There's that's no motion on the floor. Yeah, what is the, There's yeah. no motion on the floor that I put. No. You got to state, if you want to make a motion, you can, but you've got to state what you want the motion to do. You do it, Joe. You want to, uh, I'll do it. I'll make a motion that we, um, we, um, give them their raise in a three month, we will wait a three month time period. Is that what you're saying? August 1st? Is that what you said? It's just an arbitrary date I pulled out of the air. 
You said three months. Oh, next, okay. So first just, day of the next month. Just in three months, um, so it'd be May, June, July. So it'd be Jul- it, it'd be uh, August. So we'll say August first. So the motion is so to raise the can, quota uh, for the staff August first. Effective August first. Effective August first, twenty twenty. Right. That's the motion. Is there a second? Second. Okay, so that was made by Sellers and seconded by Alton C. Right, and now there's discussion on that motion. All right, discussion on that motion. Any discussion? I think it's a good plan. I'm fine with it. Okay, well, let's. Okay, so we have a mo- second and. Do you want to roll call vote? Well, is there any other discussion? This salam salam keeps calling. Yeah, I'm going to. Um, yeah. Um, Madam Clerk, I guess, can we, do we call the roll now? Or well, is, we do? if there's no uh, discussion. If there's, if there's no more discussion. Any more discussion? No. I don't have any. Okay, Madam Clerk, please call the roll. Okay. Let me go here. How does the question read? The raise, COLA raise will take effect August 1st, 2020. A motion was made by Sellers, seconded by Altenseed. Is that the way you want it? That's fine. Well, that's fine with me. Okay, that's the motion. The raise, the cola raise, will take effect August first, twenty twenty. That's the that's the motion as presented. Everybody okay with that? Yeah. All right. Okay. Hi. Vendor. Hi. Cook. Yeah. Sellers. Aye. Sellers. Aye. Motion passed. Motion passed. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Now you have the amended ordinance on the floor. Yes, now we have the amended ordinance on the floor. And uh, open for discussion, open for motions to amend, open for subsidiary motions. It's open. <laughs> open for... Now, do we need another motion for the amendment? I opened the, I opened the vote to pass it and... <laughs> to pass I make a motion to pass the budget. Up. It, it's already a, there's already a motion to approve the ordinance. Right. Oh, okay. Well, I don't have any anything. No, we just made it. the motion and approve the to amend it. Right. It was just an amend. Now it's right. all. Now it's up for discussion as amended. Now it's up for discussion as amended. And vote. And vote. I don't have any. Any more discussion? I don't no, I don't have anything. Point of order, I have a question. We uh-huh. don't need to make another motion for No, it's the already been ordinance. made or two one or two meetings ago. But that was for the other doesn't make a difference. It doesn't it matter that it's amended. That okay. got it on the floor. I just for want to make sure that no my problem. minutes are gonna be in. No problem. I'll look at it with you. No problem. <laughs> totally understandable. No problem. Totally understandable. She has great patience with the way I re- sometimes rewrite her. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, did you want to roll call now or did you want to wait? Yes. Yes what? <laughs> Make, make, do the roll call vote, okay. please. I'm getting, Alton C. Aye. Bender. Aye. Cook. Sellers. Aye. Sellers. Aye. Okay, the amended motion passed. You said right. the, the motion passes. The motion passes. He's got to say that. Motion passes. I'm just saying I it for my benefit. I yes. I can say it. Okay. I I want, I it's the amended ordinance that we're passed. Yes. That passed. Yes. Okay. Very good. Okay. All right. Uh, the next order of business is the supervisor report. Um, did all the board members receive a copy of the um, essential functions of the of the township? Yes. Okay. Okay. Now, um, the the I'm in the process of looking at our emergency water assistance program and making some amendments. To the program, I will have those amendments for the board at the next meeting, so the board can can look at it. Um, it is going to change. I can let you guys know that. Um, we're still working through everything. Uh, myself and, and 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 my staff are working through it. We're taking a look at it, and we're going to revamp some things um, 
and it's going to be due to the COVID-19 shutdown how, and, and how the changes of the, of, the, uh, of the program are going to be made. Okay? Question. Yes. Did, did you say Time. when you were going to present it to the board? The next meeting. Next meeting. That's yes. Okay. That's what I missed. Yes, the yes. next meeting. Trustee Sellers, you have something? Uh-uh. Okay. Um, we are also adjusting all other township programs because um, I got a feeling we're, we're going to have a new normal after this is after this is done. So we need to be prepared. Um, and there are other programs that that, we, that 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 we're looking at launching that's going to help uh, kind of soften the blow of of, of COVID nineteen once we are on the opposite side of, of, of the shutdown, okay? Mm -hmm. And I will have all those programs and everything uh, ready for you guys. If not, the water program will be ready for you guys for the next meeting. The other programs may be um, the following one, but I gotta get them all worked out and ready, and then I'll get a copy to, to all the board members, okay? So you'll present that when it's finished? Yes. All right? Fine. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. The next order of business is the assessor's report. Assessor. I would just like to thank the board for taking the time to go through and hash out this whole budget so that we mm -hmm. can get it passed for this year. And I do appreciate that you do realize that our, our staff are worth, you know, the raises that they'll get later. And, and um, I, I just appreciate the time you took in and that you, everyone had an opportunity to view their, mm -hmm. their concerns. Thank you. All right. Next order of business is trustees report. Trustees. I have nothing. I don't have. All righty. Any public comments? No? No public. Any other business coming for the town? Thank you for letting us uh, call in by phone. You. I know it's just a little extra work for you. No, it's okay. It's 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 good. I like it. It's, it's only good. dialing a phone. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know something? Sometimes it's best that I keep my comments to myself, and I'm gonna keep them to myself. <laughs> <laughs> I will entertain the most to adjourn until May fourth, twenty twenty. Sellers, I heard that first, and then Alton C. Second. Yep. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Meeting is adjourned.